Hi, uh, for this next part of this tutorial, I'm going to change uh, this uh, very first tutorial into a multiplication timetable. So the first thing I'll do is uh, I will now change the data that I have on this uh, label to multiplication on table. So that's what I've now changed my system to. So tutorial just call it or maybe just get rid of the tutorial all right it's now multiplication I think times table if I'm now wrong yeah okay so I will also increase the yeah I think the size is okay maybe increase the length to about that and uh, instead of loop there I will enter more uh, or let me just enter time table uh, times table there and the name let's see the name officially is a BTN loop I, th I will leave it as BTN loop and this very one now I will also leave that as txt area and there's one more component that I intend to use I will add and that will be text field let's add a text field yeah a text field and that very text field let me call that txt change the variable to txt time txt time go into the property and delete the content in there delete that and uh, change the font size to 24 as well make that bold okay and make that bold align let me align the content center bring this down a bit and move it right up there uh, maybe I think I'm going to have to increase the size of this my form a little bit more or maybe decrease the size of the font in here from 24 let me make that 18 and uh, the next thing is uh, I think I'm gonna add uh, a label right here let's add a label here uh, this label we actually say enter a number to multiply Okay, maybe increase the font size as well to about 18. Make that bold. That's it. Enter a number to multiply. So the number to be multiplied will be entered right in this text box. Right. So the next thing is go into the, the event and uh, convert the whole content to multiplication time table. But to start with, because the right, the first thing I have in there is just a for loop. So maybe I should just uh, build and run so that you guys see what I'm talking about before I continue with the coding. In the previous tutorial, you wouldn't see any of these components. You won't see this, neither will you see this. But you will only see the title, which is now different, and this very component right here and the button if I click on the button what you will see is a uh, is just the loop showing number 1 to 12 so the next thing I'm going to do now is just to convert this very tutorial into a multiplication timetable so I'm going to close that and uh, right up here I will try I will enter try and cache just in case the user entered the wrong value and underneath here I'll say cache in a bracket and my text box txt that's a txt I will set the text text let's clear it just in case the user entered the wrong value you can see I've entered my semicolon as well then um, let me use uh, 
the class the class J option panel class J option panel and the method that I'm going to be using will be show message dialog so and I have my message which should be show message dialog and in there say enter a valid number and the title is just number so now say uh, time txt time dot request I'm going to request focus right here so that the cursor will automatically go straight into the text box there now and uh, close the curly bracket okay the next thing I would do now is to actually declare an integer variable let me call that uh, num1 equals integer and uh, I want to paste that paste int and that will be inside my txe time dot get data and open and close parentheses and the next thing I do is enter my semicolon now what we happen is I've declared an integer and that's it this said uh, num1 is actually storing whatever value I enter in here the next thing is for me to be able to output that here and that's the text area so to do that I'm going to have to add that into the text area so I will start with by saying I'll enter another equal sign a quote let me put a space there I can always use a tab but that would be too wide okay that's uh, i times num1 and i times num1 plus equals so I have uh, I would now multiply i by num1 and then i plus there okay and that is all there is to this uh, program so the next thing is uh, let me just build build it and run it so let's run the, let's run the program and see all right guys there we go and here's the program as you can see you see the course of flashing in there if I decide to enter any value anything in there click on my button right here you notice a message box pops up with uh, an info tag advising or prompting the user to enter a valid number and the title is right here just numbers so click on ok if I click on ok as you can see the content in there disappears you see that click it comes out the content disappears but if I enter number there, click on the timetable, that's what you see. You can see multiplication timetable, one multiplied by two, and so on, up to 12 multiplied by two. If I change it to something else, what will happen is the scroll bar will take control as it multiplication number one times two or two times table and the next one is eight times table okay guys you can always improve on this you can add a clear button you can add a maybe color into it even tooltip so I'm gonna call it a day now with this uh, tutorial so but before I go let me take you back to the code so that you guys can have a good look at it right here is the code for the multiplication timetable can you see that 
try I've declared my integer right there for loop I've assigned the content of my integer and the loop value which is right here as a right here into my text area but if you enter incorrect data this will pop up before that the text content is cleared the message box shows and set focus I'll call this the end of this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions please let me know and you can always uh, subscribe as well you all have a nice day now